All right, so this video we are going to be looking at solving systems of equations, and that's when you have more than one equation with more than one variable. If you only have two equations, two variables, your solution is going to be the ordered pair that makes both equations true. We are going to be using elimination in this video for solving, so that's using addition on a system to eliminate a variable. So the types of equations we're going to be working with are in standard form, or they are also called linear combinations. Here's an example of what you might see for a word problem. All right, so let's get into it. Solve this system by elimination. So remember, elimination is using addition to eliminate a variable. So we're just going to go ahead and add these two equations together. So we have, and, and then just add straight down. Negative 2x plus 4x is going to be positive 2x there. You can also think of it as subtract 2x from 4x. Subtract 3y from 3y makes 0y's. We got the equal sign there. 21 minus 27 is going to make a negative 6. If we're thinking money, we owe 27. We only have $21. So after we try and pay it off, we're still going to owe $6 there. So if we do notice, we have 0y's here. So the y's in our brains just kind of go away. So we are left with 2x equals negative 6. Now, this is pretty easy to solve. We just need to undo this multiply by 2 to the x so that way we end up with x by itself so we're going to undo that multiplication with division so 2 divided by 2 just makes 1x written right there and negative 6 divided by 2 negative divided by positive is going to be a negative 6 divided by 2 makes 3 so the x value for the ordered pair that makes both of these equations true is a negative 3 next up we're going to find the y so to find why we are going to use what we know here, and we're going to choose one of these two equations to use. So just looking at the numbers, these three numbers are smaller or equal to these three numbers here. So the red equation might be the easier one to work with. So we're going to use the red equation or the top one, and we're going to replace the x with what it's equal to. Now we can go ahead and simplify a little bit. We have a multiplication here. So negative times negative is positive. 2 times 3 is 6. We still have the minus 3y equals and 21. Now we want to solve. We're solving for y. So we want to undo the 6 and the multiply by negative 3 to the y here. So undo this 6 with a minus 6 to both sides. 6 minus 6 is just 0. Minus 3y equals 21 minus 6 makes 15. Still trying to get y by itself or isolate the y. It's being multiplied by negative 3, so undo multiply negative 3 with divide negative 3. So here we have negative 3 divided by negative 3 makes 1y written there. 15 divided by negative 3, we got a positive divided by a negative makes negative. 15 divided by 3, 5. So the value for the y is a negative 5. So our ordered pair that makes both of these equations true is negative 3 comma negative 5, negative 3 for the x, negative 5 for the y. We're going to solve this system of equations using elimination, and that's where we add both equations together and eliminate a variable. So here we go. 5x minus 5x, that's going to be 0x's. So we're going to kind of ignore that, and then we're going to have 2y plus 4y makes 6y for our addition step equals negative 6 plus 18 is going to make a 12. We're trying to get y by itself, so we're going to, we're going to want y there. So we need to undo this multiply by 6 with a divide by 6. So 6 divided by 6 is 1y. 12 divided by 6 makes 2. So our value for the y is going to be a 2. Next up, we got to find the x. So for finding the x value, we're going to choose one of these two equations, whichever one looks easier. So both of them have 5 for x's. This one's got a 2 and a 6 there. So this one has smaller numbers, probably going to be easier. Now we're going to use what we found over here. We found 2 for y, so we're going to replace that for y in our equation. Then we're going to solve. Let's start by cleaning it up a little bit. We have multiplication here, 2 times 2, 4 equals and negative 6. Now we have just a regular two-step equation. We want to go from 5x plus 4 to x equals. So to undo this plus 4, we'll do a minus 4 to both sides. So we have 5x plus 0, just 5x, equals negative 6 minus 4 makes negative 10. 
Now to undo the multiply by 5, we're going to divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is just 1 x written there. Negative divided by positive makes negative. 10 divided by 5 is a 2. So the value for the x is going to be negative 2. The value for the y is 2. So the ordered pair that makes both of these equations two, true is negative 2 comma 2. So we're going to solve this system by elimination. So we're going to add both equations to eliminate a variable. So here we go. Negative 3x plus 2x is going to make negative x. 3y minus 9y makes negative 6y. And negative 12 plus 29 makes 8. So in this case here, we did not eliminate a variable. So we got to do a little bit of thinking here. We're thinking multiplication, which variable would be easier to eliminate. So remember, we want them to be the same numbers, except one's positive, one's negative. So looking at these two here for the y's, we have a 3 and a 9. So if we multiply this by 3, then they'll match, but one will be negative. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. We're going to leave the bottom equation alone. And then we're going to multiply that top equation by 3. So here we go. Negative 3x times 3 makes negative 9. 3 times 3 for the y makes a 9y. And negative 12 times 3 is going to make negative 36. Now when we add these up, one of our variables is going to be eliminated. So here we go. Negative 9x plus 2x is going to make negative 7x. And again, we can think subtract 9 from 2 there. 9y minus 9y makes 0y, which is what we wanted. Then we have the equals. Subtract 36 from 29, and we get negative 7. So the y's were eliminated. So that gives us just 7x equals negative 7. We want to just get x equals and then the value. So we'll undo this negative 7 being multiplied with dividing by negative 7. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1x written there. Negative divided by negative is positive. 7 over 7 is 1. So the value for the x is going to be a 1. Next up, finding the y value. So we can choose which equation we want to use here, just looking at the numbers. So in this case here, probably the top equation is going to be easier. This is smaller and this is smaller, the 12. So smaller numbers here, except for the x's, but those are pretty close. So now we're going to use the fact that we know x is 1 in our equation, replace it there. Now go ahead and clean it up, multiply, simplify. So negative 3 times 1, negative 3, plus 3y equals negative 12. Now we have a two-step equation. We want to go from negative 3 plus 3y to just plain old y. So we'll undo this minus 3 with a plus 3 to both sides. So now we have 0 plus 3y makes 3y equals subtract 12 from 3, and we get negative 9. To undo the multiply by 3, we're going to divide by 3 to both sides. 3 divided by 3 is 1y, and negative divided by positive is negative. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so negative 3 there. So the ordered pair that makes both equations true, the solution, negative, or excuse me, 1 comma negative 3. All right, we're going to be using elimination to solve this system here. Now remember, elimination is when you add the equations together to eliminate a variable. So here we go, 8 x's plus 4 x's, 12 x's, y plus 3y makes 4y equals negative 30 and negative 10, negative 40. So this is something we would normally do in our head just to check and see if we did elimination, then a variable would be eliminated. But in this case here, we didn't eliminate any of the variables. So if we wanted to eliminate the x's, we would want these to match but be opposite. So we could multiply this by a negative 2. If we wanted to eliminate the y's, we could multiply by 3 or negative 3 to get these to be opposites. So now we got to ask ourselves, do we want to multiply by a positive or excuse me, a, a 3 to eliminate the y's or a 2 to eliminate the x's? So multiplying by a 2 is going to be a little bit easier. So we're going to leave the top equation alone and we're going to multiply that bottom equation by a negative 2 because we want these to be opposites. So here we go. Negative 2 times positive 4x is going to make negative 8x. 3y times negative 2 is going to make minus or negative 6y. And then negative 10 times negative 2 is going to equal a positive 20. Negative times negative is positive. 
now we can go ahead and add straight down. 8x minus 8x, no x's. y minus 6y is going to be negative 5y and subtract 30 from 20 and we get negative 10. So the x's were eliminated. So now we want to go from negative 5y equals negative 10 to just y equals. So we're going to undo this negative 5 being multiplied by the y with divide by 5 to both sides. Negative 5 over negative 5 is just 1y, which is what we wanted. Negative divided by negative is positive. 10 divided by 5 is a positive 2. Now that we found the y, we need to next solve for the x. So here we go. We're going to choose one of these two equations to use, the one that's easiest to use. So if we notice here, this y has no coefficient here, which means there's uh, one less operation, one less multiplication to do. So that's probably going to be our easiest one to use there. And we're going to replace the y in that equation with what y equals. In this case, it's a 2. So there we go. Now we have a two-step equation. We want to get x equals at the bottom. So we want to go from 8x plus 2 to just x. So we'll undo this plus 2 with a minus 2 to both sides. So now we'll have 8x plus 0 equals negative 30 minus 2 will be a negative 32. Next up, undo the times 8 with a divide by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1x. And negative divided by positive is negative. 32 divided by 8 is 4. So we got negative 4 for our x value there. So negative 4 comma ne negative 4 comma positive 2 is the ordered pair that makes both equations true. Negative 4 for the x, 2 for the y. So when we're solving by elimination, remember that the main thing is we want to be able to add straight down to eliminate one of the variables. Now on some of these, we are going to have to use multiplication to get the coefficients on either the y's or the x's to be opposites.